welcome to any fin as possible we're up at green lane reservoir on our boat and uh, just got done work friday night had to work late so we are hitting the road running right we're going making a beeline for the spot we want to go we have the sabiki rig tonight um, we didn't catch as much minnows as we wanted and we don't have as much bait as we wanted um, but we'll make it happen we have plenty of rods and Got them all rigged up for different things. So. Dealing with quite a wind. I don't know if hopefully it doesn't mess up the sound too much, but stay tuned and I'll see what happens today. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh my God, this is wild. Look at him, look at him, Kevin. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> Open the package. Just flap here. It says pull rig out of bag without opening entire package. Little diagram here shows that the end with the little swivel that you can open goes to the weight. I've got this little guy here. I'm going to use, so I'm going to go ahead and hook that there right now. That's it. Now we just have to tie this one to the end of the line coming off the rod. Okay. These swivels are so smooth, <laughs> it's hard to make it loop. Either that or my fingers are so calloused. Here we go. Yeah, where are we at? Yeah, that looks like it'll work. Maybe a couple more. There you go. Through there. Back through there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for right there. Tie that, just pull it tight. Make sure it slides down. And that's what we got. We got the Sabiki rig in the package and tied up to the rod. I mean, there's like 10 hooks on this thing, so you don't need them flopping around until, you, until you're ready to throw them in the water. So these packages um, are really handy. And um, from what I've read, this is one of the better companies they're not all equal so I have my little I'm gonna take this little um, hook protector safety thing from Bass Pro Shop I'm gonna put my Sabiki rig already on the line right there and I'm just gonna fold this over the velcros and there we got this one ready to go Fish on, bring them up in here. Get them in there. Show them to the camera. All right, here we go. We're gonna open this up. Out of bag. Pull rig out of bag. Ready? Let's see how good this works. Here we go. That's a lot of hooks. That's it. Okay. For starters, I'm going to just put a couple worms on and leave the rest like this. I think I'm just going to let her down like so. Make sure you're getting all the way to the bottom. Well, let's see if I can get more on. Uh, I'm not sure if he's on or not. 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. One or two. One on the sabiki. Got a weight on the bottom so that helps to keep them from tangling. And just feel for the bite. So from what I've read with these rigs is the idea is you, you'll feel the hit and then you're supposed to set the hook and then you let it sit there and see if you can get another on the hit. I just jig it nice and slow like this, Kev. Because a lot of times... Fish on! What you got here? Bring them in. Keep them over the boat. What do we call these things? Fish, fish sticks with fins. This way, buddy. Nice one. You pop the lid for me? Throw him right in. Now look at this. He wasn't even hooked. Oh yeah, he is hooked on the edge. I thought it was in here. Whoops. <laughs> Little help. Thanks, buddy. I think I got one on the sabiki too. Yep. Here, take, take the sabiki. Real quick, 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 quick. I might have multiples because I felt one hit. John, you got something on there? Just the one? Okay. I thought everyone got on. Good work. That's teamwork. That's why we need the. Got the other one on the beetle spin with Kevin's marabou jig that he won at the bass tournament. <laughs> well, I think I missed. The, I might have missed another one. So white perch. It's nice to have two rods in the water. You can kind of manage two at a time. Got the sabiki rig with this. Uh, this new awesome turbo rod holder I have. <laughs> A little out of control right now. All right. Woo, yeah. Crappy, right? Yep, bring him in. He's an eater. Nice one. Beautiful crappy. Nice big one. So this is the white crappy. And they call them paper mouths because their mouths are super thin and you can rip right through those real easy. But this guy's going to the pan. Got one on. Trying to get another one on. But... Crappy are hitting it. Okay. Yep. That again. Getting interrupted by these fish. That's good though. Yep. Put the big minnow on. Didn't even get it down. This one's a nicer one. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, 
The marabou with the fetal skin. I just hooked it up. Are you jigging it or? I'm reeling and jigging slowly. I'm casting it out too, though. That might be one on. Yeah, if you go up towards the front of the boat, you can cast off the front of the boat. That's kind of what I'm doing off the back. And I think the different of speed, it gets down a little deeper, but not too deep. There, oh, there we, yep. There we go. Yeah, like, oh, no. Let's get the lines back in because we're in a good spot right here. It's just starting to get shallow, so there's a we're deep big deep channel out there and this is just where it starts to come to the shallow. Get you here going. Speaky. Keep an eye out so I don't slam the back of the boat up there. So that was oh there's one. You see that hit? I had um one hit and that one hit was definitely on the middle. There we go, there we go. Ah, he's off why the sabiki so good is you're at all the different water depths I know. oh yeah he's on he's on you want to pull him oh you got it. okay i got it. i'm good i'm good i got it i lost him you're at all the different water depths so it's not that you're going to catch 10 fish at once though i've seen some of these people catching lots of multiples. I haven't been catching too many multiples. But yeah, you're just that covering more water. That's the little one that's been bothering us. Throw him. Holy crap. <laughs> you see him running like crazy? Okay. Pulled too much slack. You're doing what you used to do when you were little. There we go. Don't matter. Take this one. Nice. He ate it perfectly. Feels like a train. Oof. Looks like that rod has it, but it's in your lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, got him there. Nice. <laughs> oh, double! <laughs> Woo, my first double. Got a double? Yep. Okay. Open that cooler up. Okay, I've got three fish over here to get in there. Shut it so they don't jump out and I'll get one at a time. There's another one. I can get it. One more. Oh, didn't even get it down. He's on it. I got to tangle it up here. We're all tangled up. Got three? 
Oh, I have at least, I don't know how many I've got on there. I've got at least three on there. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Yep. I got one too. Okay, so here we go. Going in. That was four at a time. We got four at one time. He's right on it. Look at that. Holy Let's see crap. if I can get more. There's another one. There's another one. There we go. Three. Dropping her back down. See if we can get her to the bottom. I'll give you 10 grand if you can get it to the bottom. There's one. Oh, there. There, I think there's two. I think there's three. Come on, baby. Four. I'm just going to put this minnow in the water. Okay? Yep. There's another one. There's 22. <laughs> oh my god, this is wild. Look at him, look at him, Kevin. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> is that for Shinner? No, I still have a few extra hooks. That is Sabiki fishing right there. I think it's just about time we call it a night. You got one on your yellow rod here. We got a whole cooler full of these little chicken fingers here. Chicken fingers, the little fish sticks. So, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching our video. And you I'm guys have a good weekend. All right. Do I just drop it down? Let, yep, let it all the way out. Okay, I'm gonna throw it over and make sure it's in the corner. It's a different style of fishing. I mean, not really, I'm just setting the hook each time. All right, let's bring it up and see what you got. Just that one, okay. Then, let it out. Let more line out. And then when you set it, make sure it goes into that corner. It's not in the corner. Okay. You get four on there, even though you got an ultralight setup and these fish are little, you get four, five, or six of these little fish on there pulling in different directions. Happens pretty fast then. You can do a little twitches, gentle, just do gentle. Rise up like a couple inches and down. Let a little more line out, make sure you're on the bottom. So if you hit a deep pocket. Yeah, I'm on the bottom. Okay. Careful student driver here. <laughs>